hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm so grateful guys that today is very very sunny outside it's very very sunny <laughs> So guys, first we'll be needing a uh, castor oil contain uh, omega-6 essential fatty acid which accelerate blood circulation to the scalp to increase hair growth. So here guys, uh, apricot oil contains a lot of them. This time I'm going to talk about the beneficial to stimulate hair growth while starving of moisture loose. So guys, the third oil is jojoba oil. This time I'm going to talk about how it can help hair cells to reproduce themselves at a rapid pace because it's part of a oil that grows hair. So the fourth oil is uh, my essential oil which is lemon and tea tree oil. Guys, if you are sensitive to uh, tea tree oil, you can use peppermint oil, you can use uh, uh, like uh, eucalyptus, you can use any other oil of your personal choice. These two oil, they are very good to stimulate hair growth, which is which is one of my best oil which I use when I want to do any part of hair growth. And the uh, tea tree oil can kill antifungal, while the lemon oil will clean your scalp. This is my preservation. You can use any preservation of your choice. So we also know about uh, aloe vera. It's antifungal. It can boost your hair sheen growth and to also make your hair follicle to uh, grow strong as you are treating your scalp with other things. So this is sulfur. Sulfur, guys. This very oil. So guys, this is sulfur. Sulfur is to help uh, control dandruff and relieve inch scalp, inchy scalp, and it can also, uh, by that case, promote hair growth because it's uh, antifungal, uh, antibacterial. It heals our scalp from a lot of uh, scalp issue. So here I have my shea butter guys shea butter we know shea butter is a, a moisturizing agent it's also antibacterial anti uh fungal a lot of things it does to our scalp so here i have my instrument you can use this mix uh mix mix to uh, mix the oil so guys this is wheat gem wheat gem contains a lot of vitamin b that you can ever talk of this vitamin that is in wheat gem, it helps to increase blood circulation uh, to your scalp to boost it for very fast hair growth. So guys, here is coconut oil. Coconut oil is another great oil which contains a lot of vitamin and essential uh, fatty acid that can help to naturally boost your hair growth as well. So here guys, this is vitamin E. Vitamin E contains antioxidant that help repair and build tissue. Vitamin E can also help to encourage our hair follicles for fast hair growth. So basil leaf guys, basil leaf uh, uh, mixed with all, any oil of your choice can rejuvenate your hair follicle keep your scalp cool and also promote circulation to your scalp so these are my uh measurement measuring cup measuring spoons uh you can also use a blender this is my hand blender now we need to start first by measuring a uh, 50 uh, milliliter which is 25 ounce of coconut oil so i'm just going to slightly warm it then i'm going to after warming for a while i'm going to put my aloe vera fresh gel into it and begin to cook it so now as it's uh, cooking as it starts to cook i'm going to uh, use my hand blender to blend it out and it's like maybe i'm mixing it already inside this pot but the fire is still on i didn't put off the fire this time so i'm just turning everything as it's still cooking with the fire so now i'm going to put um uh this uh base leaf uh basil leaf guys so you put the quantity as i did 
one stick is enough with leaf that i'm going to just give it a stir to make the basic uh, leaf to go down so i'm now i'm adding one spoon of my shea butter to cook with the basil uh, leaf and my um, aloe vera gel so I'm, I'm also going to give it a stir again and let it to cook uh, so now as you can see it has really really cooked where i'm turning it now with my fire off i'm going to uh, turn it until the foam just gets down so as you can see the the, the aloe vera has start to dry so that was why i put off the flame so i'm going to allow it to cook while i prepare other things so to prepare the other thing first i'm going to measure 50 milliliter just as I did with my coconut oil with my castor oil now. So I'm going to pour it into my baker. I'm going to pour it into my baker here while I, I measure other oils. My jojoba oil, I'm going to put a uh, five milliliter, which is this uh, measuring uh, spoon is exactly five milliliter. I'm going to put five milliliter of my jojoba oil inside there so i'm going to put a uh, 20 milliliter which is four of this but because the first measurement uh, measurement was just half so i add almost two and a half to make it uh, uh, a 20 milliliter so i'm putting just my choice like a teaspoon of my uh, uh, vitamin e i'm putting a uh, 20 uh, sorry uh, 15 drops of my um tea tree oil here so as for my lemon oil i will put five drops at times guys they, they come more because you know this uh little bottle with your mouth they pour out we don't expect so i'm adding six drop five or six drop of my wheat gem so i'm going to pour it into my bacon with the uh, castor oil which i already already mentioned there too so after that guys i'm going to uh, uh measure my soft my uh, sulfur sorry guys at times <laughs> i'm going to measure my sulfur i'm using two teaspoons you don't need to add too much sulfur to uh, your mixture just add two teaspoons of uh, sulfur uh, to this oil which i'm mixing since so i'm going to now give it a stir with this little um, make uh, mix so i'm just going to give it a stir until it mix well which is now so after uh, this now i'm going to bring my oil that has cooled my aloe vera and my basil leaf oil so i'm going to strain it and allow the i'm not going to press anything so after i put that other oil i'm going to give it a thorough mix now so with this i'm going to add uh my um, preservation i'm adding a uh, five milliliter which is a uh, teaspoon so i'm giving the final touch so guys for those of you that are new to my channel don't uh if you love this video please kindly subscribe thumbs up this video share to other people because this video we are going to do updates about it thank you So I'm going to show you how I use it. Let me just because it's liquid. I will put little can go just like this. You don't need to pour it. I'm going to use like this. I will just use my hand to uh, rub it. Just begin to massage it on my scalp gently, guys. Gently, you can do it. Uh, let me say three times a week depend if your scalp is dry you do it like me i do here every day because here is very dry because of the issue there you know i use it to uh, massage my scalp every day you can use it to do your pre pull before you wash your hair okay you can use it to do your pre pull just put it massage and that is all so guys i hope you love this video me i'm happy go and try it and feel the same thing i'm feeling then you will know what i mean so thank you for watching bye bye